Alright, so Probability Brothers is back today with our second unit here at Parkland Residences. Now this development was built by Lo Kuing Huats who have built well-known developments like the Minton, South Bank and One North Residences. So if you're looking for a condo-like setting but without having to pay MCSC fee, I think you're going to love this place. So why don't you check the rest of the place with us? Let's go! Before we bring you around the home, let me just share with you a bit more about the project here at Parkland. Parkland Residences has 680 units. 40% of the units here, there are four room type of units. So the layout here, you actually get three full bedrooms. There's a home shelter, a living and dining area, a kitchen, as well as two bathrooms. So if you bring up the map, now why do people love to live at this area known as the Upper Serangoon Crescent? It's because it's right between the Aukang area as well as Sengkang. It's away from the bustle where the MRTs are at. So people who love a more serene and quiet environment, I think Parkland is great. So coming back to the unit, let's head in. I'll show you around. This unit is actually 92 square meters, so it's great size. Along the walkway, this is actually the main door. So once you come in, you have space for your shoe cabinets, so it's all inside. And right beside this shoe cabinetry, of course, you have your DV box. And then on my right, you have, of course, have the kitchen area. So kitchen is great because they have this bifold door. It's done up already, so you can just close it if you're doing a bit of heavier cooking. So the developers have cleverly designed this glass panel so when you're doing your cooking in the evenings you can actually still watch your kids who are playing out there to ensure their safety. The cooker hood and hob are all Bosch so this is all very well maintained. So there's a lot of storage spaces for all your pots and pans. I simply love this type of deep drawers because it has like a double layer type of thing. You can keep all your utensils inside. Over on the left, this is like the main washing area. You can just put the vegetables right here and prepare them. Behind me, of course, there's the laundry area. No problem to put in like a double stack type of a layout. And then of course, they have this retractable rack for hanging your clothes. You can just swing it right out so it gets the air as well as sunlight when you do your clothes washing and laundry and all that. So heading back into the living area, if you're wondering why there's an empty space here, this is actually where the owners let their kids actually play. Owners have put in these two huge panels of mirrors. I think it's great. In fact, if you do want to have an indoor dining, this is the dedicated space. If you're wondering where the dining is, it's actually right outside the balcony. So the owners here, they love to have this balcony type of alfresco dining. Essentially, that is the main difference between a DBSS versus a HDB type of flat. Coming to the couch area, so you can see they have a very chunky type of very comfy couch here and viewing distance is great between the walls and towards your sofa as well. And the owners have done up this type of a wood panelling fashion. In fact, there's also a mounted kind of a suspended TV rack, so storage is right below. This is all done for you, so it's very move-in condition. So let's head out and check out this fantastic balcony space. So the owners have already done up the wooden deckings right here. So they're very, very solid type of timber. They love alfresco dining. That's why they have a fan here as well. Now, if you want to air condition this outer balcony space, of course, a lot of the owners, what they love to do these days is to install the zip track. So the video right here showing you how it actually looks like. The owners have already done up the invisor grills. So you can save some costing there. It's a safety feature for your kids. As well as also done up the outdoor blinds already. So that will actually come with the home itself. All right, now let's head into the bedrooms where our listing specialist, George Ping, is going to show you around. Mr. George. All right, so come on in and I'll show you the rest of the rooms. So before I show you the bedroom, let's talk about the DBSS pricing in Singapore. Parkland Residences is the latest and last DBSS to reach its MOP in Singapore. So if you're looking for a four-room DBSS model, these are your choices. You have Adora Green at Yishun, balances of 92 and a half years, asking for 620,000. Centrate at Tampines, 93 and a half years, asking for 710,000. Belvia at Bedok, 93 and a half years, asking for 720,000. Trivalis at Clementi, 94 years, asking for 800,000. Passeries 1 at Passeries, 94 years, asking for 710,000. And Parkland at Haugang, 93 and a half years, asking for 680,000. So if you're to look in totality, Parkland Residences is definitely one of the more affordable ones in terms of the size as well as location. 
Alright, so entering here, you'll notice that this is a separation zone from the living room where Mark is just now and this is the big room areas. So before you head further, you'll notice that you have a bomb shelter over here that is to cater to all your storage needs. So the bathroom is still in a well-kept condition where you have all the fittings as well as the pocket of window over here to dispel all the moistures. And bathroom, I think it's good in size. You don't need to do a lot of cleaning um, after you shower because you have the shower screen that has already been installed. So moving into the common bedroom, you will notice that this room is of good size because currently it is fitted with a single. You can definitely put in a super single up to a queen size, it is possible. And wardrobe has been installed by the developers. Now this area, you can put in tables or you can even install like top hung cabinets which is what a lot of homeowners are currently doing. The owners have also installed window grills as well as blinds and the UV film on the window. Let's move on to the master bedroom and I think that the owner have cleverly designed this master bedroom. You'll notice that the bathroom is actually on my left which doesn't face the bed. You have a pocket of window to dispel all the moisture after you shower. You have the shower screen over here and the good thing is it's not big in size so you actually have a lot of livable space right inside your bedroom. This master bedroom is actually huge in size. You have a king size bed that is fitted with two side tables. And the side tables have been installed with electrical points so you can have all your charging needs. And if you notice over here, the switches have been installed as well. So just switch off the lights before you sleep. You don't have to move out of the bed. You still have a good space over here where you can place your cot or even a study desk, a table. And installing of a TV is definitely possible where you can install those kind of floating shelving which saves you a lot of space and you still have a lot of room to maneuver around. Likewise, together with the common bedroom, this master bedroom has also been installed with the invisible grill as well as the UV film. So let's move on to the walk-in wardrobe and you'll notice that the owner has actually just hacked away this wall and just reinstalled this sliding door so it doesn't overstress the aircon at night. So as we enter, you'll notice that you have a huge walk-in wardrobe with a lot of storage space. You have five full height panels of wardrobe space as well as the aircon that has been hidden. You have a full height mirror with an inbuilt vanity top. You can sit down here and do up your makeup. You have nine pull-out drawers. So this space has been cleverly designed by our owners. The event that you want to reinstate back into a proper bedroom, you can easily do that by installing the wall over here. And the good thing is that the owner did not remove the original door that is hidden behind this wardrobe. So you just simply need to remove this wardrobe and you have a proper bedroom again. So once you reinstate this bedroom, you'll be wondering where you're going to place your wardrobe and this is how it's going to look like. So let's head back to the living room where Mark is. So George, why don't you share more with our viewers what's around Parkland Residences and you know, what kind of amenities and connectivities are around here. Parkland Residences is situated just right beside Pongo Park. So if you love to have an active lifestyle, you will like this place because just right down below, you have a 16 km park connector that connects you all the way to Pongo Waterway. Parkland Residences is also situated just within easy access to KPE and TPE that brings you to town in a matter of 20 minutes. So nearby malls, you have Aogang Mall, Kangka Mall, as well as the Midtown. They are within reach for all your groceries and dining needs. For family and school going kids, you have CHIJ, Holy Innocent, Monfort Primary, and of course, Serangoon Secondary School is just right opposite our unit. Upcoming future developments are the Cross Island Line that will be ready by 2029 where Aokang MRT will become the interchange to many other MRT lines. Pongo Coast MRT that is slated for completion in 2023 which will also bring you to the future Pongo Digital District. The upcoming Pongo Digital District is also home to 28,000 tech jobs that are upcoming and Singapore's fifth university, the SIT, will also be situated in the Pongo region. So if you're a young family with kids and you love this kind of condo-like living with a balcony for alfresco dining and your kids love going to the park for cycling or school touring on the weekends, I think Park Lang Residences is going to be great for you. Come check out the place with us. I'm Mark Chan. Josh Ping. Probably Brothers. Brothers. Always, Always happy, happy to show you the place. Alright, so let's head in and check in the... Check in the bedroom. Go <laughs> first. Is this thing very funny? This very weird. Uh. You're like pointing. 
Hey, come on in. <laughs> What's up, man? 